Hello and welcome to this section of the MATLAB Tutor. Here we're going to cover some pretty important functions that you'll be using constantly. We'll be talking about the exponential function, e raised to the power of something, and also a variety of different kinds of logarithms. So uh, exponentials and logarithms sort of go together, so we're going to talk about them together. So in order to uh, take the um, raise e to the power of something, you might think you would do e, to e squared like that. But if you do that, MATLAB doesn't understand what e is. It doesn't. It doesn't really. Uh, it doesn't really treat the letter e as as the constant e because it, it just doesn't. So the way you do an exponential is you have to type exp for exponential. So when you type exp like this, then it'll take e, it'll raise it to the power of two, and it'll present the answer to you. So just remember that it's it's important when you're typing these things in. If you wanted to do uh, e to the two pi, then you would do it like that. Um, so that about covers it for the exponential function. Super important function that we use constantly uh, all throughout math, um, all branches of engineering. Uh, but, but the way you do it is by putting exp on the command line. Let me clear the screen and we'll talk about logarithms. So logarithms are very closely related to exponential. So if you wanted to take the log of something, you would just type in log just like that of 5, let's say and you get an answer. Now it's important, this is probably the most important thing I'll say in this lesson, when you type the log of a number this is not the base 10 logarithm. Um, this is actually the natural logarithm. When, if you try to type in ln, MATLAB doesn't understand what ln is. ln is some calculators use ln to represent the natural logarithm. In a MATLAB environment the regular old log, this is the natural log base e. That's what natural log means, base e, right? type in log of of, uh, of 1 let's say uh, then you know e to the 0 is 1 but you're it's all talking about base e so then you might ask yourself well how do you do a base 10 logarithm because on most calculators the log log button is going to be base 10 how do you do a uh, base 10 log in MATLAB well uh, they have a separate function for that log base 10 so you just type in log 10 of 3 let's say and there you go so 10 raised to the whatever power is going to give you 3. Uh, you could even test that out by doing 100. 10 raised to the what power is going to give you 100? Well, 10 raised to the power of 2 is going to give you 100. So if you need to do a base 10 logarithm, you need to make sure you type this in, log 10, right? And there's your base 10 logarithm. If you're trying to take natural logs, you just do it by itself, all right? Now, on a very rare occasion, you might want to take the log of uh, with the base 2. There's a function for that as well, log base 2. You can pass an argument to it and that makes sense to you because if it's base 2, 2 raised to the power of 2 is going to give you 4. All right. So that's what MATLAB provides you. It provides you with a, a natural logarithm which is this guy, a base 10 logarithm which is this guy, and a base 2 logarithm which is pretty rarely used but occasionally you might uh, use that. Now if you get um, confused or if you don't remember then you can always pull the help down and you can type in log uh, the log the natural logarithm it tells you right here the log functions the natural logarithm uh, operates element wise on arrays returns the natural logarithm of elements in X so it's talking about elements of an array and all that it's just because MATLAB can is really working uh, internally a lot with matrices so if we created a, a matrix or a vector and then operated on it with the logarithm function it would take the log of each element that's all it's saying there but it's telling you the bottom line is that this is the natural logarithm if you go down here you'll see base 10 logarithm log 10 operates element wise returns the base 10 logarithm and then log 2 we've already talked about uh, if you go down here uh, computes the base 2 logarithm of elements of x if you need to compute a base uh, some other logarithm to a different base other than base e, base 10, or base 2, there's, there's not a built-in function for it. But if you look in math books, you can find equations and formulas to allow you to calculate logarithms to any base you want in terms of, of logarithms that, that you already know, like log base 10. So I'll leave that to you if you ever get to that point. But the most important, most common things would be regular old natural logarithm, base e log, in other words, base 10 log, like this, base 10 logarithm, and then every now and then maybe a, a log base 2, they provide that as a built-in function as well. 
So make sure you understand these things. These are very important. Logarithms and exponentials go hand in hand, and you'll be using them constantly uh, when you're defining your functions, setting up your equations, and uh, just in general, they just pop up in science and engineering everywhere. So make sure you understand how to do these guys in terms of the MATLAB environment.